everybody, I'm back with Emmett. We talked with you on Friday, obviously, yes. on our live show. We were talking about all the things that were new and fancy for Cubicle 7. But now we're at the booth. Yes. And we're gonna be we're gonna be walking through all the sorts of things that you guys can be giving away. Well not giving away, obviously. <laughs> people can buy them, obviously, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, we'll start with Electric Counts, which people can come and have a demo of, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So um Electric Counts is our card game set in the old world. Um, the idea is it's actually played in bars around around the Empire. Um, so if you, you can come over and we'll run through a demo, play a couple of hands and, and you can see how it plays. You play the electric counts, trying to trying to take control uh, and, and get to power. So pop over, really nice, plays in about half an hour to an hour, um, two to four players. It's really nice, kind of easy, nice to play before your game or just as a, a little little light game in the, in the in your evenings. It's got a nice little bit of cutthroatness to it as well, which is oh, always yeah, good. 100%. So, yeah. We saw that in your playthrough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> always the way. Yeah. So we're going to walk through the stand and we're going to show some more stuff off. So I'm going to step, step onto this side. And Emmett, you just want to run us through some stuff and we'll go for it, yes. Yeah, so these are kind of some of the stuff we've had for a little while for um, for Warhammer Fantasy. I'm trying to get this out of the way a little bit. Um, so we have our Uberzoic Adventures 1 and 2, which are for anyone who's played the starter set or is familiar with Vermintide, the video game. Um, Uberzreich is the city that it's set in. So Uberzreich Adventures 1 and 2 gives you 10 more adventures to play in Uberzreich and a, a little mini campaign to play if you want. We have Altdorf Crown of the Empire, um, which is a complete city guide in Altdorf. It's over 200 pages, nominated for award here tonight, uh, or this, uh, at the weekend. We have Middenheim, City in the White Wolf. A little bit of a different city in the Empire, about worship of Ulrich. Um, very snowy, <laughs> very, very tall. Um, yeah, so we have that as well, another city guide. Archives of the Empire Volume 1 gives a bit of a bit of a grab bag of stuff around the Empire, the, the Laurel Lorn, and there's some stuff in there for some dwarves and, and elves and things. Uh, Rough Nights and Hard Days is kind of a remastered of the Rough Night and Three Feathers, quite famous uh, adventure, and then a couple more adventures on that that happen over the course of a night and could lead to all kinds of mayhem <laughs> uh, when you're playing through it, if, you, if you've ever played through it. Um, so that's what we have over here. We have I, one of the dice things dice. I really like, you, you guys do a lot of accessories as well, Ooh. so you've got your, t your dice trays, and these are the books for the players and the GMs, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have our lovely all, uh, dice trays from All Rolled Up, who are here as well. Um, we have, for the Horned Rat, which has just come out, you have the... Uh, GM's journal to track like the players' stats and what they're up to and what the Skaven are planning, and then you have the uh, the, the the players' <laughs> journal as well, the investigators, because it's a very investigation-heavy campaign. So you can track your characters here, um, you can make notes: who's your allies, who's your enemies, what is going on. <laughs> it gives you a little map of map of Middenheim as well, where the where where it's set. So um, then over here we have our the current. For four books in the Enemy Within campaign, uh, epic retelling, our director's cut. Um, so the, the fifth one is out, it's shipping now, we'll have it for Gen Con, so we'll have it in, in a few months, but Horn Rat is the new one that's out now, part four, and the, each of them comes with a companion, which just has a ton more content. Uh, Death on the Reich has sold out, so we only have the companion for that. Uh, I see you've got some bundles as well. Yeah, so we have our, we have our. if you're new to Wolf Rup or you need to catch up and you haven't seen us in a while, you can just buy all of the Wolf Rup books if you want. <laughs> we also have the Enemy Within campaign bundles. Ooh, the fancy, um, the fancy have, ones yes, as well, we yes. Beautiful collector's editions here. They come in a lovely slipcase. Um, nicely, uh, nice tower style, tower style designs. Exactly. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. They each come with a uh, player handouts, which you get in a little envelope there. So you take it out. It's letters from important people and maps and everything that you just need to hand out to your players. So yeah. absolutely incredible way to play the Enemy Within campaign. Uh, and then one of the things we talked about yesterday, you've obviously got your starter sets and things. Yeah. So you've got your one fancy roleplay starter set, which is pretty awesome. Comes with a whole bunch of stuff. Yes, it does. So you have your five characters that you have. You have your adventure book and your guide to Uberstrike map of Uber, Uber's right dice, little makeshift mini GM screen using the box, got your tokens, dice, yeah, absolutely packed with stuff that yes. we can't even fit on the table, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Too much stuff. Yeah. And then we move over from Warmer Fantasy. Yeah. We've also got some Warmer 40,000 stuff, so you've got your Wrath and Glory bits and pieces coming together as well. Yep. Start sets on the horizon, but before it then is, you can yeah. get your things like the core rulebook yeah. and all the others. Yeah, so as I was saying yesterday, we have the core rulebook, which is all you need to play the game. Forsaken System Player's Guide, which gives you loads of information on the Gilead system, where the game is set and more player options. Uh, Litany's of the Lost is an adventure game for us. Uh, sorry, a campaign, I should say. Uh, and then Redacted Records gives you rules for Space Hulks, 
uh, new ways to put your party together and, and, and things like that. So yeah, loads on offer here and plenty more on the horizon for, 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 for uh, Wrath and Glory. And for those people that like the Mortal Realms, we also have the start set for Soulbound, which is great, and also a whole bunch of books as well to go alongside yeah, that. Yeah, tons of stuff. So we have uh, the Mortal Realms, obviously, a little bit different from, uh, from Warhammer Fantasy. So you can play as your Stormcast Eternal, a demigod, reforged warriors, play as a giant tree in the Sylvaneth, um, <laughs> flying space dwarf, uh, uh, flying dwarven. Um, but yeah, same, similar enough. The space dwarven are coming space soon. Dwarven, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Vota, yes, exactly. Sorry, that's, I, well, I keep calling them, <laughs> which I shouldn't. Um, the, so again, adventure book, city guide, dice, tokens, pre-made card sheets, handouts, maps, player references, and it's everything you want. Yeah, twenty-three pounds for that. Uh, so it's an absolute steal. So, but, uh, but yeah, so we have that for for Age of Sigmar. We have our core books, GM screen, collector's edition, which is on offer here today, uh, down from £100 to £80. Pounds. Um, we have Champions of Order, which is another player book, Bestiary down here, uh, Steam and Steel, which is our newest release, which is all about crafting and forging in the mortal realms. Um, loads of detail on the Caradron, how to, how to um, craft new equipment. Um, loads on the Fire Slayers and their relationship with Magma Droths and their runes. Uh, just generally on forging in the mortal realms, alchemy, poisons, <laughs> vehicle combat, everything. Loads of stuff in Everything there. you could want. Yeah. And it's not just Warhammer stuff, you do have a couple of sort of Doctor Who bits we pieces do, as well. Yes. So yeah, we'll yeah, go we'll and look at sneak over to Doctor Who. Yes. Oh. So it would be remiss to not talk about Doctor Who, of course. Yes. So uh, unfortunately, it's n it wasn't quite ready for the show, but we did have our advanced copies. So you have the, the beautiful second edition core book here, which has our, our spot UV that we do. So it has a nice little shine on it. It's so shiny. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have our, our lovely TARDIS here, which is magnetically sealed in the middle. Opens oh. up. Wow. TARDIS bigger on the inside. I love that. Made that joke about <laughs> 10 times this weekend. Again, you have a lovely spot varnish and everything. So good. Contents are the same, but you get a beautiful magnetically sealed box. I mean, that'll be ready in a few weeks. Um, so I think it's just on a boat currently. Unfortunately, didn't make it in time <laughs> to get a faster boat. <laughs> There you go, so some amazing stuff to dive into. Lots of Warhammer content for role players and a little bit of Doctor Who as well yes. at the same time, which is More nice. More Doctor Who next time. Yes. <laughs> I'll also make sure to go and check out the live stream from yesterday where we had a nice chat about it's coming up as well, which is already awesome too, so yeah. Uh, we have a seminar actually this evening as well at yes. five o'clock. Uh, we'll be going over some more stuff from what's on the horizon. And, uh, Brilliant stuff. And of course, Watch on Tabletop because we'll no doubt be talking with them in the future yes. about all sorts of fun things <laughs> and maybe play, maybe playing some uh, Let's Plays as well, some yes. more games too. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's been, it's been great. So. Fantastic stuff. So yes, we're going to be back with another video very soon. Make sure to check out the live box and the live streams. See you in a bit. <laughs>